<laughs> Welcome back to another episode. We're slinking our way through the inner sanctum of the goblins, going to kill everyone one by one until they're gone. Cleanse this land of I ain't of never felt so strong. A bit of murdering. Da da da. The old bug with the hunter pets is still very much alive. And it's like first you say get away and now I, and now y'all are chasing me. You say go on shoe but you're following me. Like why? Oh, what is this? Something. Are you somebody that we can save? Oh. Spoke too late. Spiders are dead. Sorry, buddy. Time to talk to a prisoner who wants nothing to do with the absolute. Praise is ever bleeding axe. And yes, this thing is trapped. Praise is throne of flaming iron. Praise Mglubiot. Yeah, that's your original god that you... You know Mglubiot. refuse to admit. A tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Oh, that's rich. A free world? And how come I'm locked up like a bloody elf? Mm, because you're the I'll minority you in a group full of scumbags? I'm loyal to McLoviet. Cause I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. Yeah. My old tribe's fallen for this shite. Traitorous bastards. I've never been able to the save him in EA. I wonder if I can do that now. Together. Drow and gnolls and goblins all braiding one another's air. It's a load of shite. Mm-hmm. Talking to you, ain't I? I just don't believe in all this togetherness and chumminess. Ain't natural. It won't last. They'll be tearing into each other soon enough. Sodom all. I'll wait it out in air. Well, oh, they won't tear each other apart purely because all, a lot of them, their subservience is quite literally forced. But, uh, you know what? Let's see if we can free you. Honestly, let's see if we can free you. We're going to need to get this fight going first, though. Um, let's start off. Whatever it takes. Oh, you're out of oath charges. Doo-doo. Okay, so, well, let's get... Let's get one of these going. Big hammer. Looking ahead. And then... Let's do you first. Killing someone is one way to get a guard's blood pressure up. You're destined. Oh, that was one hit. Awesome. Arrow of darkness. Okay. Well, y'all can handle that, dude. Time to press ahead. Can we one shot you? We cannot. I 
Yeah, both y'all miss. I'll y'all handle that. So you got a bow. Goodbye, Nick Nook. Yeah, pathing POS, come on. Okay, well, have you shoot this guy. Oh, I finally. Wait a minute. Out of the entire null fight that I did, I had these on. It hasn't popped up before. I guess that's another bug. Gloves of missile snaring. They look good, but this is the first time I think it's actually asked me about it. I mean... This isn't a once a day thing, is it? Reduce the damage from ranged weapons by 1d10 plus your dex modifier. Okay. Interesting. Hold on. Let's assuage some paranoia. I'm not seeing a once a day or once a long rest. Yeah, that's a bug. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume the magic gloves both are a little buggy. Okay, Shadow. Let's uh let me get you now. Trap I crub one damage as expected. Um, I think I know what to do. Yes, yes, take your swing into the abyss, you foul beast. Oh, come on. You have advantage and you miss twice. Make way. I forever, pal. Aye, aye. Nice, nice. I wonder if you can do a barbarian build. Um, no, USOB. How dare you? Hurting my dog. You know what? You know what? Turn to dust. That's what you get. Good thing Scratch is okay back at camp. They can't ever be truly hurt. But yeah, I wonder if you can make a uh, a ranged barbarian build. Maybe multi-class into sharpshooter ranger. Maybe multi-class into fighter. And have, um, you know, the action surge. Need to find a way forward. Goodbye, zombie. Let you chill over there. As soon as you go down, your pet will go too. There we go. Good, simple fight. Good, easy fight. Um, girl, you do not need to be the one picking things up. Leave that to the others. Oh, I didn't realize this thing can actually provide light. It's actually pretty neat. Hmm. 
these things have stayed interesting. What are you doing back there? Do I still have it? I do. Okay. It's been a long day. Better longing for small spaces. Stone walls hugging close. Aww, poor baby. Confining. There is a light here. In the tight space beneath the floor. Hmm. Secret things that tight shine. Tight space beneath the floor. Secret thing that shines. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? Is there a secret here that I don't know about? Hmm. Oh well, probably nothing. Oh, cage key. Awesome. And also, I may have been wrong about traders having limited money, because when I went back to the Grove for another um, trade-in, he had his money back, so it was a bit strange. Anyways, let's see if we can get this guy out. Breathe deep and move. So the door should open. Come on, gang. We know there's a trap here. Come on. Fun. There we go. Disarm. So it's not that I hate goblins specifically, it's you know the whole absolute bit. I am I am not of the mind of Mr. Goblin Slayer, although I understand his reasons, but uh Yeah. <laughs> Look at where the oh wait, I think this was possible. Yeah. Dead! Thanks for breaking me out. Gonna find me a new tribe. One that appreciates the old ways. Interesting. Saving the heretic. Oh, we got an inspiration back from that. Well, I wonder if he'll actually come back later in some capacity now that it's full release, now that it actually matters. Um, there's nothing up there. Absolutely looking out for me now. <sighs> <laughs> I ain't never felt so strong. Alright, without further ado, let us see what we can do. The priestess, go oh, come on! Double miss? Hasn't gone oh, that's a notice. great way to start off a fight. It's about to be returned in kind. Hey, at least we got good rolls, so let's uh, do a quick paranoia save. Still 65. Um, can we do anything for that? We can. Victory awaits. Nah, let's just let's just pile it on. Let's pile it on. There we go. Two good hits. Really. Let's 
Oops, didn't mean to double tap, but thankfully it honored it. Turn to dust. Why am I not surprised? I should probably get my main girl to learn Sanctuary if possible. Because she doesn't use her spell slots all that often. Alright, smack you good. That's a decent bit. I'm hoping for more. So, did I destroy the drum? I didn't destroy the drum that was over there. Okay, well. No, no. Cannot reach because of that. But we can jump. Hmm. Oh, darn. Well, let's see what we can do. That's new. And interesting. Um, she hurt me. A lot. She hurt me a lot. Because that's not something AC can really do too much about. And I'm poisoned? How did that happen? Oh, she did her thing. She killed herself, though, I just realized. Look at her. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try to look at these numbers real quick. Truso got was 12 bludgeon damage, was killed, was killed all downed. Huh. You know what, I'll, I'll just say that's a bit of RNG in my favor. Let me see, um, so, potential paranoia, um... Let's get you down from there, out of the way. Ah, oh, SOB. Can you jump, because you're thinner? Aha! Both of you for opportunity attack, just in case. Lizel, you have three temp because of your thing. You have Eldritch Blast? Interesting. Um, let, let's get you over here, Carlac. Cool. What kind of quads do you need to have to make that jump? Yeah, you should be fine over here. The Zentarum shouldn't care. This puppy is safe. That makes me happy. So. Uh... 
six. I wonder if that. No, that won't work. So I have to do you. Warlock Grease. Breathe deep and move. I didn't realize you were a bit of a powerhouse, but I guess not. I am fury. I am death. Down you go. What should I do? I remember there being a warlock in this little fight. I'm a bit surprised. Oh, the Zentarum just joined the fight. Oh well. I've already killed your whole group anyways. I mean, might as well just finish the job. You know what? I think this episode, I'll just let y'all have this whole fight unedited. Yeah, let's do that. Doing too many speed edits, so y'all should enjoy a plain fight for once. Or puppy didn't get to do anything. All right, let's get you down and gone. Another step forward. Time to strike. Oh, there's TV down there. All right, let's get Lazo over there. I guess y'all were the guards in front of the gate, and it took y'all a minute to come over here. I'm ready. Um, let's have you. Oh, I didn't even read what your thing was. Do you? Aha, so your wild magic was teleport this time around. So because of positioning, let's let's go over there. Make the Zentarum come to us. That was a good hit. You know, the Null, it was an actual flail, and now that we're holding it, it's just a stick of bones. the powerhouse. Have to keep going. I just realized they abandoned the fight. I didn't notice that. The, Z the Zentarum left. We know where Ready. Uh. 
How dare you? Victory awaits. My faith will protect me. There we are. Oh, what is that? Y'all just have a bunch of stuff lying around. Action, not reaction. Proceeding. Chaka. Examining. All right, Priestess Gut. I don't remember what you used to have. Priestess Key. So I know what door that goes to. We got a key for that back door, too. Absolute Talisman. It grants aid. If the wearer bears the Absolute's brand, they have advantage. Yeah, all of your stuff requires the brand of some sort. Rancid Note. I don't remember this. That Slobberchop's druid who is nosing around ain't just some tomb robin adventurer type. Calls himself Halsen. Ugly name for an ugly bastard. Had a little word or two with him before he... Before the lashers put his hairy arse in the pens. Said he thinks there's something rotten inside us. Inside me. Reckons he can help get rid of the rot. I told him we don't need any help from nobody. Never did. And especially not now the Absolute's taken a shine to us. I say there'll be something rotten inside him soon enough. There's a lot of rancid meat down in the pens where we cut him open. I'll make sure he stays alive long enough for the maggots to make a nest of him. That is... Yeah. And of course, brain jar. For the tadpole. Because we killed a true soul. Securing. All right, what now? All right, let's see what's behind door number one. Lucy, I'm home. Oh, y'all legit left. Have to keep going. But y'all used to just hide in here, but I guess y'all are actually gone. I'm surprised. Come on, open up. Uh, there's about to be an explosion, isn't there? Yeah, there's gonna be an explosion. Or not. Just a good chunk of gold, okay. Rocky crevasse. That was an EA. Not that not I remember. A not a chance fit. Hmm. I've been seeing talk about how these little holes you can get into if you have gaseous form. And I think also transforming into a cat. Anything of use? Shame. I was kind of hoping for more. Proceed. 
proceeding. No time to rest. Okay. Where I to next? I think everyone deserves a little bit of sleepy time. You know what? Nah, let's let's push this a little more. Oh, welcome, rest. Let's go get Halson. Let's get Halson, and then we'll deal with Min. Get my boys back. The goodest of boys, both of you. No one stopped me yet. Let's see what this does. I didn't mean to start this fight. Oh no. Oh well. Still on my feet. Here we go. Oh, we got y'all aggroed. Okay. Oh, this is gonna uh, that be a bit of a long fight.
Handy. Okay, so this annoyingly unplanned fight is about to come to a close. All right. Everybody is tired. Now the question is, can we do a long rest without issue? Ain't that right, Kitty? We gotta rest. Okay, what's this? The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Is this supposed to be the first night where, you know, we feel symptoms? Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched, no matter how much you want. And we're just covered in dirt and blood. Oh, I remember this. I guess this is always going to happen with her. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, Girl, your flesh Girl, we're not transforming. Swelling. I can. I see it in you. We I are feel lost. it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. We will not use that. Surrender to Lysel. Now we've already done that once before and something else happened. We will do medicine because we're good at it. I'm gonna guide myself. Hell yeah. Bah, I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust you. Everyone yours. likes that. I will wait. But know this I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn. I will end us all. Don't worry, homegirl. I got you back. Is this the first dream? I've been waiting for this. I came just in time. You are transforming. Guardian indeed, this is new territory. Ooh, and you look good. Yes, you have. I saved you before.
Is this what we saw? And I'm here to yes. save you again. Don't worry. So she is talking about saving us. You will us. not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. This is I'll protect you. A far cry different from what we had in early access. I like this music. Alright, so I have a different feeling about this guardian versus what we saw in EA. So I want to trust her. Because she has declared that she is the reason why we are not transforming. This is truly divine intervention. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. Oh, I was wrong. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Hmm. And I can't guess what landscape this belongs to just yet. Wait a minute. A fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that, but only if you embrace your potential. to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. Okay, I got some thoughts about that. Now, is this we all shared the dream like how it used to be, or is it just just us as the main character? Whoa. People got nothing to talk about? Okay, so just starting off. That giant head? I'm gonna tie that to my Vlacketh theory, so you're welcome to go and look it up on my channel. The, oh my goodness. Okay, starting off. Gods as a whole. Yes, they have avatars on the mortal plane. However, they have their own true bodies that aren't allowed to physically set foot planet side. They're massive. And in the history of the realms, if you as a god, you fade from existence, you have no more worshippers, you are literally forgotten to time. You have no power. No worshippers means no power. That's how they function. That's how the bigger gods get to be strong and how the niche gods like, you know, I guess, you know, Baal, how they get weak because they have smaller pool of people. And it's like, if you die and fade into nothingness, you quite literally are floating as a corpse in space. Not like you're dead because you technically can't die because you still have that divine spark, but it's like, setting your computer on sleep mode or hibernate mode. It's technically, technically off, but it's not. And it's like... My theory about Vlacketh. So, canonically, old lore, I really hope they're bringing it back into the current era. Vlacketh. Lysel's queen, the ruler of the Githyanki, is looking for a divine spark and is drilling, digging, mining out a corpse of an old god that is dormant so that she could steal that power. And all this time I've wondered if they found it. And now that we saw that, I'm wondering, 
are other forces trying to take it? Or could it be that the gods of realm space? So in, in general, gods are kind of locked to a planet to a degree. So I'm wondering if they're doing what they can from a distance. Like, imagine wherever, you know, Gith Yankee space is and whatnot. I think it's current space. Like, we are in our own solar system. They are a couple solar systems removed from us. There is actual distance there. So I wonder if within that distance, maybe the gods are busy trying to send their people out too far to fight to stop this from happening and maybe they're not as strong as they could be because of that distance and it's like there's too much there there is too much going on and it's like at first i was thinking okay it's different she wants to protect us okay no she wants us to have it after all so it's nothing actually different but then we see the fighting so it's like oh is this going to be like a WoW Demon Hunter scenario where it's like, use the weapon of the enemy to become stronger and defeat said enemy? And it's like... If those people fighting weren't silhouettes of energy, that probably would have revealed everything. Like, lore junkies like me, I mean, we probably could have figured it out if we saw what those people actually were. It's convincing. It also could have just been an illusion to convince us. There's just way too much to speculate about that. There's just way too much going on. Hmm. Never wanted the easy path. So as a curiosity, I'm gonna do a quick check-in. There's probably nothing. Let's just pick one. Click. Oh, they knew it. I had a dream. They had the dream. As we all did, I suspect. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. The parasite has taken root, it would seem. Every word, every promise. It is gay deception. Okay, so the fact that everyone had it, I'm going to lean towards it being an actual illusion instead of a one-on-one -on -one thing. You know what? No, we're going to stay up here. Um, different playthrough. We will embrace the powers. A wise choice. These parasites are a threat to be destroyed, not an opportunity to be exploited. Correct. Um, okay, this has been here for quite a while. Let's just finally just do it. If you must know, Vlakith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. Yeah, okay. Well, she just said what we already knew. And also, if you didn't know, Vlakith is technically a lich. And she's trying to ascend to godhood. Okay, well, let's check in with everyone else. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me. Told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? It did seem convincing, but I am I am being convinced that it is a trick. Damn right. Things like a splinter. We just need to find a way to squeeze it out. But still, we can't deny there is some sort of divine intervention going on there. And so with this being an illithid trick, I have to wonder, 
I don't remember his name. It is very long and very hard to pronounce. The Lithids do have a god, but not a god in the sense that we understand, you know, um, Leviatar, uh, Baal, Bane, everyone else, Saluna. Their god, he has one avatar. It's possible for gods to have multiple. And he lives amongst his people, experimenting in a very specific and very hidden city in the Underdark. And I'm wondering if that god is the one doing this to us. They would have the divine power to protect us. And then subsequently, you know, a lithid trickery. Because he likes to experiment. That's their whole thing. And... If you look at it from their perspective, what's happening to us is all just a big experiment. Because there are ways to create unique elithids, um, arcane magical elithids, vampire elithids, um, powerful thulatharids, I think that's the right name. There's a bunch of variations that come about through experimentation for greater power through an elithid. And even the weird ones where they experiment with other creatures to become elithid type beings that are all brain oriented, like. Have you seen a brain golem? Those things are terrifying and disgusting, and I really hope we don't find one of them, although I would be excited if we did. And not to mention a brain eater dragon. Imagine that, an elithid dragon. The realm of experimentation and just pure cosmic horror that these things can create. And this music is very fitting for what I'm talking about. It's just, there's too much lore here to speculate. There's way too much. We need to know more. But on this playthrough, we're probably not going to get that because of what I'm trying to do with being pure. A part of me hopes I'm actually wrong. And all of this is just, you know, I will help you with my own power. I will not give in to X for the sake of Y. And it's just, there's a lot going on but we don't have enough tangible evidence just yet. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me, protecting me. Mm -hmm. And that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. At least all this new dialogue feels more smoother and more natural coming from them versus how we had in EA. A real manifestation, perhaps, but not an individual of flesh and blood in the manner you or I would consider to be real. Yeah. Whether she spoke the truth or not, well, I think I require a little more evidence before taking a fantasy at her word. There we go. Until then, best we speak of other matters. Was there something you wish to ask? Good boy, good mage. You are smart enough, but not greedy enough to be stupid. I had the strangest dream last night. Uh, there was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. Oh, yeah, you're the power hungry boy. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. <laughs> Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? Different playthrough, sir, different playthrough. I had a dream last night, a vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, 
We should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. Yeah. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by a lithid worms. You are correct. And also thinking about it now, um, embrace the power, become stronger. I will protect you so that you don't turn. Oh, look, you're nice and strong and juicy. You're, you know, fattened up and ready to eat. So now stop protection. You transform. All of that power you accumulated is fueling the transformation and suddenly you're a whole new brand of a lithid. Something more. Possibly an experiment to create new avatars for the Illithid God, but who knows? This could go any direction. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. Use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but... I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess. In the waking world or otherwise. Yeah, it is a mess. Alright, so let's so wrap up this episode. Let's go pay a visit to Volo real quick. Now that he's here. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. You're correct. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. Oh. Don't do surgery on me, not yet. I don't want to lose my eye. Do not trust this man if he offers to give you surgery. If I just here in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Interesting. What? I'm barred with nine lives. Both decided to remain in camp. Having such a learned scholar nearby might be useful. We have received an item. Blazer of Benevolence. Remedial Rhymes. When you inspire an ally using Bardic Inspiration, you gain four attempts. Even though the embroidery development won't help against the sharp blade wearing, it fills you with self-assuredness. Huh. Interesting. Well, that will be it for this episode. There's a lot to think about. There really is a lot to think about. Um, 
For those of you who are willing to watch this episode, let me know in the comments what you think about that dream. We may not encounter it again in this playthrough, but let me know what you think. So until next time, stay safe out there.